Hey there, my Virgos. We are looking in the Friends Tarot for the back half of June for you. So this is a very fun deck. If you know the show Friends, then uh, you might appreciate this a little bit more. Back of the cards, cute, cute, cute. But we're looking on for the back half of June, midway through, what's happened, what's currently happening, and what's coming at you. All right. Let's see what's going on for you. Virgos. Wow, wow, wow. Ten of Wands. The burden has been heavy. This is like at the door, carrying way too much and needing to set it down. Star card here. Hope, healing, second chances. All of this is coming through for you, coming in for you. This is a big deal. This is a real big deal. Let's even set these this way for you. Maybe you can see them a little bit better, hopefully. This is what we've got going on. It's like when you bring all the groceries home and you can't get the damn door open and the grocery bag breaks. There's something about this burden that definitely needs set down. You need to ask for a little help and allow that to come through. There's something going on, Six of Swords, you're leaving something well and truly behind. This is something that's caused anxiety, carrying too much baggage again is coming through. This is a sense of what's happened so far. Okay, let's see what's going on currently. Past energy, current energy. Okay, so here we're seeing the Four of Swords, Justice, and Ace of Coins. The universe wants to right something, balance the scales, right the wrong, so to speak. Something big is going on. You do need time to take care of yourself. There's a gift inherently in there. It is as if you're not getting enough rest because you're carrying too much of this burden. Justice wants those scales to lighten up a little bit. So set the groceries down, set the burden down, set whatever it is down and get yourself some rest. And let's see what else is going on here. Near future energy for Virgos. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> this is cracking me up. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands wanting to go forward, wanting to go forward, wanting to push so hard. This is something that you're going to have to be very careful. Balance your energetic currency here. Balance what needs to happen with what you can actually do. Sometimes you're just prone to be taking on too much at this time of year, Virgo. Here we have the Page of Swords. Having seen things, observed things, sometimes getting up in other people's business a little bit more than they want you to, even though you see something that's true as the day is long. Some people aren't ready for the true as the day is long. So if they aren't asking your opinion on something, don't be giving it for free. Certainly don't be giving it at all. You can see and observe and practice your listening skills. This one's coming in. The big ears need the practice. That's what's going on here. Listen a little bit more. Observe a little bit more. And just wait for a while. Reserve judgment for a different day. Take your time to just be witness to something. Three of Cups. This is offering friendship. This is offering celebration. This is being celebrated and not tolerated. This is an important energy. This one, when you're feeling so overwhelmed and the justice and the balancing of the scales, sometimes it's okay to just be in the flow of things and not be the main concern, the main going concern, or the one that has the answer. Sometimes it's just okay to go and enjoy the experience. What else? Queen of Cups, yeah. The one who listens compassionately, the one who reflects back on something and doesn't give up her dreams, doesn't give up hope for the future. This is important for you. It's important for you to just flow and revel in the flow that is there and have your dreams intact. Also, this is a time for listening and stillness for you. That's what I've got. That's complete. 